Hey everybody, welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're back in the race world, finally it's been a while, and I'm gonna show you how to build this motorcycle. But of course, first we're gonna take it for a spin, see how it works, and later we'll get to the building. By the way, if you don't really care about the building, it's also in the workshop, you can just um, take it from there. Uh, I uploaded it pretty much as soon as I found that the workshop was available, even though the tutorial wasn't out yet. Just because I know some of you really wanted a small vehicle to just cruise around in other people's worlds. So yeah, I just didn't want to deprive you from it. So this might cost me some views, but ah well. If that's how it's uh, going to be, that's not the end of the world. So first I'll try and explain a bit how it works all. Um, here we have the sensors connected to suspension glitches that allows it to uh, stay level. So for instance here you can see the action. it tries to wobble from side to side while I'm here. And then I put some bearings right here uh, that are connected to the steering wheel. So if you uh, go into a corner it actually leans. And as you can already see probably, I added an extra suspension glitch here that wasn't there before. That allows us to actually steer pretty well. So uh, while standing still it looks a little odd, but when you're driving it, it actually looks much more realistic than my previous motorcycles. And yeah, I like this thing a lot more. And as you may have noticed, we're wearing some leather. Because I was thinking, well, we're driving a motorcycle, we may as well look badass. And actually, I'm also working on a post-apocalyptic world, but I'll get to that later. So first, let's actually take it for a spin, uh, see how well it works. I have driven it in the world that I made it, but I used the um, Steam Workshop features, or I should say the Blueprint system, to take it to this world. And um, yeah, I've only tested it on Flatland, not so much on going uh, up a mountain, so I'm really happy, uh, really curious to see if it'll uh, if it'll do well or if it will um, do all sorts of wheelies. Uh, by the way, since we have the new Steam Workshop, I don't need to put all vehicles in this world anymore. So if you have a PC that's lagging like mad in this world, because I did add a lot of stuff, uh, definitely let me know in the comments uh, if you um, yeah what you want me to do. For instance, I could make uh, a very empty map without any vehicles, and you could just download what you want because all of these vehicles are in the workshop already. Or I could make a world only with the track and the Hot Wheels track. Or track plus Hot Wheels track plus homes. Or a mix of stuff. Or yeah, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, personally, I can run this fine. But uh, while I'm saying that, I'm getting slightly over 30 FPS. So it's definitely fine, but it could be better. I'm thinking I'll at least make a world that's just only the racetrack and you can load anything you want and that'll uh, allow the people with a slower PC to uh, to actually play on this map. I think that uh, that would help some people out because I know that some of you are playing on old laptops and stuff and then having all these creations can be great. So um, yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised about this motorcycle. I haven't tested it out a whole lot yet. Uh, it's doing pretty well. Of course now it does an epic wheelie, but other than that, the mountain was not a problem. I was a little nervous about that. So uh, yeah, super stoked. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> uh, that also means, of course, I haven't set the track time yet. I'm, I will do that again. I have been uh, running a bit behind with that. I'm uh, sorry about that. It's just been a little hectic here. And I rolled it. Crap. This is going to ruin my time. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I will do that after recording and I'll put it in the comments again. So, um, yeah, let's finish this up. Because, uh, well, I started it anyways, and then let's uh, let's actually build it. So you might be thinking, hey, why would you even bother building it while well, we have the Steam Workshop support? And uh, you do have a point, but I'm thinking it'll still be educational, hopefully. It'll still, still maybe teach you guys how to use the suspension glitches in a bike, so you can make your own bike. Or it just... Uh, uh, it might show you how to make stuff compact or I don't know. I'm just going to continue doing it. If people stop watching it, I might do something else. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. At least for this motorcycle, I just wanted to do another tutorial because I made two motorcycles before. But the first tutorial had crappy audio and the second one I made some mistakes. So I just wanted to do it at least uh, once more and right this time. Just um, yeah, because I wanted there to be a good tutorial out. So what shall we take out? Uh, the paint we'll take later. First we're starting with a metal base and a seat and we'll use a lot of wedges. We'll also need some controllers, some bearings for all the shock glitches, some suspension parts, some more wedges later. What am I forgetting? Also an engine of course and I'm thinking this will be good for the base at least. So we're starting with a, a piece of metal. It's going to be 16 long and 2 wide, 
this is way too large but that's because we'll need to place it on lift every now and then and if you do it like this then you can't get to the controllers which is super annoying so we'll uh, build it like this and then if we put it on lift the seat is right here we can get to the controllers without the lift being in the way so that's just gonna make everything a lot easier so let's think uh, first we put a controller yep so we'll place wedges here here and here so on the first the third and the sixth spot on both sides first third and sixth there we go now we're going to raise it and we're going to re actually remove all of this metal because we don't need this well uh all of it uh, apart from that last row on the sixth spot so now we can place some controllers and we'll place them right here and right here and uh, yeah i believe that's it yep so now we will add a suspension glitch and we will place it either here or here it doesn't matter i usually place them here do keep in mind that uh, the downside of using a suspension glitch for steering in a motorcycle means that one uh, turning left is more effective than right or the other way around it's barely noticeable but it uh, is slightly noticeable so let's see now we will need to put two shock glitches in here uh, however there's one thing to keep in mind uh, we might want to add a gun here later if we do that then we will have to put this bearing right here and this bearing right here if you want a gun on the right then you will have to do it the other way around other than that it's mostly the same you might have to flip a bearing or something every, uh, here and there but it shouldn't uh, it should mostly be the same so now to those bearings we'll connect some wedges careful to actually connect them to the bearings and not to the base and we will connect some suspensions to those uh, wedges and we will put some wedges on the end of those so now it all looks nice and flush again already so now we will connect this front suspension glitch to the steering wheel i think we'll have to flip it but i'm not sure we'll leave it as it is for now and then we will attach this controller to this bearing and this controller to this bearing and for both of them we'll set uh, the when activated dial the second dial to plus 15 so we'll do that for this one as well and yeah that's pretty much the base already so now we'll lower it and we will place an engine i usually place them like this with i mean like this with the handle down but that really doesn't matter doesn't change a thing and now let's um let's do the the sensors and get the suspension glitches going because that's the trickiest part so now we'll take out the sensors and we will get rid of all this metal and let's see we will place two bearings right here and we'll connect them directly to the steering wheel so they are activated when we are steering and we will connect uh, put on two sensors like this there we go so now uh, let's steer right and see what happens they rotate right but we want them to go the other way yeah so we will flip this one and flip this one uh, yeah this is better so when we're turning right yeah we also have to flip this one as I said earlier and now we're actually spinning right and the sensors will allow us to lean right so this should all be good so now we will attach some more bearings and we'll also connect these to the steering wheel you can also let them loose i guess but this is just slightly stronger and we will just put some pieces of metal on just so we can see what they're doing because otherwise yeah you can see that so yeah there is a staying level so all of those bearings are no good awesome so we'll get rid of these and get rid of these and now we can add the rear um arm i guess you call it I'm not sure so for this we'll take out um, the table supports the corner pipes you can of course also use I beams for this but I wanted to go for a look with a lot of round shapes so um, yeah we'll also need bearings and of course we'll need the large wheels and I think that that's pretty much it I feel like I'm forgetting something but no should be good so let's place it back on the lift and now let's take out those table supports place them on either one of those and on the left one we'll place a corner pipe then we'll place 
a bearing then we'll place a wheel then we will place another bearing on this wheel and the corner pipe and now we'll have to connect this with the welding tool so let's take that out and let's weld this stuff together awesome of course one arm would be enough but i just like the symmetrical look so now let's do the front arm uh if i'm correct then it's just a simple table support here to this front wedge then we'll use two corner pipes to make an s-bend now we will add another table support this is here just for some clearance for the wheel and then we go up with the corner pipe and go in uh, we go down i think that's right isn't it yes it is <laughs> and then we place another bearing this is for the steering then we place another corner pipe going in then we place another bearing this is for the wheel and we finally place the wheel so now we will connect this to here i think we don't have to flip this one and we will connect this bearing to the engine connect the engine to the steering uh, steering wheel set this to five i believe one two three four five and we'll also connect either of these bearings for the from the last wheel now keep in mind if you attach this one then the, the arrows are going the, right, the wrong way because you welded it you put everything on different than usual so that can be a little confusing it definitely confused me at first but this should all be good now the steering wheel is missing that's just a glitch on my pc that happens it still functions so let's make sure everything is working correctly Ah, oh, I was wrong. The steering does have to be flipped, that's right. So let's flip this. And there we go. Of course, we didn't connect the suspension glitches to the sensors yet, that's what I was forgetting. So we will just fall over. We will fall very slowly though, that surprises me. But let's see. So uh, this part is a little tricky. Uh, we don't have to flip the, the bearings in this case, that's good. However, we do have to connect the sensors to the right one. Uh, I think if this one is activated, it leans left. So this has to be activated when we're falling right, when this sensor is activated. So I'm thinking this is how it's going to have to be. And now we will set the range to something like 12. 12 uh, keeps it a bit better level and we'll set the sound off. Higher might work as well but lower means that you can park it close to other vehicles. So you can just mess around with it. I like 10 or 12, something in that range. So now, does it work? Yes, it's leaning right and it's leaning left and awesome. And it's driving. So we'll do a proper test in a moment, but first let's take out the paint. So we'll place this paint tool right here. Uh, what color should we go for? We already have one that's black and red and it does look nice oh wait we can also put on a horn uh i did it here it's nice to have a horn it doesn't stand out too much so i'll probably do it in a moment there as well it's just very simple i just put a horn there and set it slightly higher because usually those horns on bikes are pretty small and high pitched so let's uh let's finally do that uh, paint thing again uh yeah i usually go for black and red just because a black bike looks badass and red i did that because that's one of the colors that work well on wheels so as you can see for instance black wheels don't really work too well and yeah red does so let's see maybe we could do purple or something uh, super over the top and awesome and we might actually change the pipes for this one maybe we'll go for dark gray but then again dark gray doesn't look good with a lot of colors mm. now let's go for black i like black uh, let's make the engine black as well and the seat and now yeah we'll at least give the the wheels some other colors i like yellow too with black but yeah it just looks so default Ooh, how about lime <laughs> oh this is so over the top but i kind of like it yeah we'll we'll keep it lime for now so uh yeah let's hop on here and see if this one works properly as well i haven't tested this thing in the in hot wheels loop yet that would be a fun test it'll probably ma uh, be uh undrivable nah that's not gonna work with the suspension glitches and all that's gonna be uh, a pain in the rear so ooh, ooh, easy now keep it together so what I do want to try is uh, try to use this as a bowl. That could be a lot of fun. It might be a disaster with the suspension glitches. It might actually work really well. I really have to know though. So he's now... No, 
Yeah, the steering is a little over the top now. Maybe, maybe we can do it. Come on. Nope, <laughs> it doesn't like this. Uh, no, I'm not uh, I'm not gonna do that. I will uh, just take it for a spin now. We'll just drive back to our home. So, of course, I will still be uh, sharing world files the normal way. I will keep doing that, just because uh, yeah, some people prefer work uh, uh, world files over workshop items. Also, just because not everybody wants to use that beta build. You have to s change some settings. I made a video about it. It's not hard, but some people just don't feel like doing that. So, yeah, I will just do the normal world files. Um, I'll, I've also started numbering it and uh, trying to make a system. And um, yeah, let me think. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, what I mentioned earlier. Should I do empty worlds without vehicles so you can just add what you want for yourself, or uh, yeah, just let me know. I'm down to do anything. I will just have to think of a way that it doesn't uh, that I don't have to share like 20 world files per uh, per video. Then that would it would just become uh, so much more uh, tricky for you guys to find the right one. So yeah, I think we'll end it right here. Uh, again, I'll put the track times for real in the comments this time and I will post also a link to the workshop object so you can easily find it. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!